guys, welcome to the Lamp Light Lounge. Let's go. It's a fancy new menu, huh? <laughs> so if you're planning to dine at the Lamplight Lounge, make sure to make reservations in advance. I guarantee you, you will not be able to sit down if you try to get here with no reservations, trust me. Right now, Dadal and I are waiting. Maybe. <laughs> but we had res reservations, but uh, yeah, there's still a couple people here, so we're gonna wait a little while, but then they're gonna seat us. You ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. They finally called our names. As soon as we started walking downstairs, our hearts were filling up with excitement. We just can't wait to see what the yeah, Lamplight Lounge has in store really for cool. us. In this episode, we'll be showcasing some of the newest foods the Lamplight Lounge has got to offer. And if you want to see the prices of these foods, be sure to check Look out the description that. below. And again, if you enjoy these Disney adventures, don't forget to leave a big like. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Beautiful. Well, you take a look at that wall right behind you. Behind a cocoa wall. <laughs> and the incredible. Wow. That's <laughs> insane. We're lucky duckies, let me tell ya. So this, guys, take a look at this. This is their new Lamplight Lounge. Go ahead, Janelle, show us. I'll show you. So these are Lamplight Lounge sketchbook so inside the sketchbook you're gonna find some of their famous drinks like the alcoholic beverages here and here very cool theming you have some more sketches up here pretty cool that's a beautiful menu i know it's really beautiful and then you have your non-alcoholic beverages here we're gonna try out this infinity fizz down here for myself because it looks really tasty <laughs> We've never been here before, and I know you guys have never been here before, so we're gonna try out some foods and we're gonna see whether they're good or not. So I hope you guys are excited for that. I know the cold bar is really famous for the lobster nachos, but don't worry, they brought them back right there. See that? <laughs> oh yeah. We just ordered some fizzy drinks. Guys, I'm excited for these. Oh! They're potions. Well, they started off with some chopsticks. And look, you can break off the tip and you can use that as a place setter. Ready? For your chopsticks. That. Uh huh. Place it on there. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Fancy. Fancy. Uh huh. Right over here. Wow. Thank you. Uh, Thank Look you. Look at this. Oh my no. gosh, that smells so good. This, only you guys can smell the aroma. Oh. Ooh. Thank you. Look at these. <laughs> so good. So this, look at this. This is the sequel cocktail. And I waited a little too long and the fizz out. Oh, the magic kind of died a little bit, but it's okay. I bet it tastes amazing. This guy is still going though. So if you want something that's gonna fizz for a long time, that's the one to get. That is a non-alcoholic. This is an alcoholic. So this cocktail has some vodka, rum, passion fruit, and lemon lime juice. Ooh, that's a little strong. But man, that's a tropical drink, and that's pretty good. I do like this, and it's quite refreshing on this warm day. Mmm, citrusy. And it's got a little fizzing action, kind of like a club soda, but with a little bit of alky. Only for adults, my friends. Janelle, would you like to do the honors? All right. Oh. So this fizzy guy here is gonna be your Powerade Mountain Berry Blast with apple juice and cherry poppers right inside. Look how cool that looks. <sighs> if I drink this, would I get superpowers? Let's find out. It didn't give me superpowers, but it does taste good. So this actually tastes like a green apple cider. It's so freaking cool. Oh my goodness. And refreshing too. Oh, 
What? I'm keeping this to know. Thank you. I will be going home now. See you, sucker. Just kidding. I won't hear the end of it for days. Nesarabo, World Grill New York Strip, Fresno Chili Salsa, and a little bit of Escaviche and Crema. Let's give this a try. I've never heard of a carne asada roll, so I'm kind of curious how this tastes. Oh no, I fall. I can't use chopsticks apparently, but here we go. Now I was afraid that it was gonna taste like an actual sushi roll, but it actually tastes like a like a taco roll. Does that make sense? The meats are nice and tender and moist. Yeah, everything is all fresh and tasty and delicious, and I'll probably keep ordering this again because it's just too darn good. All right, so for all the people who don't like sushi out there, like me. I'll test it out for you. And by the way, if you guys can see, I really suck with uh, chopsticks. <laughs> There's a carne asada on the inside. All right. I did it for you. For you. I'd probably say like the rice has like the tortilla effect, and the cilantro really brings out the, the flavor of the steak, like the carne asada. This is pretty good, very tasty. You think? The only thing I would need is a little bit of lime on top, but. I think just the way it is, it's fantastic. Gosh, this is an amazing, good job, Lamplight Lounge. I'm inspired. All right. All right, guys, look at this beautiful dish. These are the crispy piggy wings with a chili and ginger glaze with the toasted sesame and some slaw. Let's try this out. Oh, man, these look good. All right. Ooh, they're nice and warm. Oh. This is all off the bone, good. Literally, as soon as I picked it up, the meat was just falling off the bone. Not too overly sweet. Glazed to perfection. Sesame seeds add a little bit of crunch, so added texture. So, this is pork, this isn't chicken, so don't confuse them. They're not chicken wings, my friends. They are very tasty, and I love the fact that they're so moist and very tender. Ah. And I love the fact that this pork here isn't too fatty. Because sometimes you eat on pork and it's too chewy. This isn't the case, my friend. Not here. This is a delicious dish. And if you want to try something to snack on, that's the ticket, my friends. One thing I forgot to mention, if you guys like these pork drumettes, they have a little bit of heat to it. So be advised, they can be a little spicy. So this is your deviled eggs and toast with creamy egg salad, romesco sauce, and chili ranchego and as well as your little toast right on top right there. So here we go. Oh my goodness. My mouth is watering because I love deviled eggs. But here we go, here we go. I need, a, I need to be proper for this. <laughs> it's like I'm in a place where I have to be proper. And I end up using my hands, look. <laughs> here we go. So I'm gonna try it all together. Hope you don't mind. Now, you can definitely taste the dill monchego here, but it's not too harsh. It's just, just a tad bit at the end, but that's okay. Other than that, this dish is everything. I, again, I might be ordering this 10 times in a row. It's so good and creamy. It's not too pungent. Usually eggs are really pungent, but not, that's not the case on this one. It's soft and creamy. Ah, oh, it's just so good. It's so tasty. I'm still going pretty hard with my devil day. Dang, Jeanette, what the? Sh it's your protein. You gotta Dang. have protein. And a burger. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at this Gordon Ramsay stuff right here. Now that's a huge patty. This is a cheddar burger, as you can see by the name. You got cheddar. You have some avocado spread, and on the inside you got some plump tomato onions, and an Amish bun. Now let's pick this guy up. If I even can, this thing is huge. Whoa, look at that. That's insane. If you guys ever seen Good Burger, this kind of reminds me of the burgers they serve at Mondo Burger. That is intense. All right, let's try this out. Here we go. Oh my God. This is the best burger in the whole resort. Guys, the buns are not stale. The meat is fresh. You can taste everything. The ingredients, they taste fresh. They don't taste stale or refrigerated. This is good. And I'm quite excited that Disney finally has an amazing burger that you can come and enjoy with friends at this gastro club. Yeah, I got 
Wow, this is a game changer for Disney. You guys need to keep doing this, guys. Keep it going. Now you guys gotta get this happening at Disney World. Come on. And you do get steak fries too, so look at these. Thick and crispy. Nice and warm on the inside. Check out the Lamp Light Lounge. Please make reservations 60 days beforehand so you can get here and dine. So this, guys, is your grilled salmon PLT with pancetta, baked lemon, bacon aioli, and focaccia bread. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. And I got myself a cider fruit right here because I'm trying to keep it healthy after all eating all that food. Anyway, here we go. Ooh. The aroma, so good. Now this, guys, is really, really good. I do recommend this. Just the only thing I don't recommend is the bacon aioli. It's a little bit too um, salty for me, so I would rather just have that on the side if you want to try it. Other than that, the grilled salmon by itself and with the focaccia bread and everything else, it's really tasty, guys. It's so good. The focaccia bread is not stale, which is pretty good because you know how we feel about stale bread. We don't have to, you know, show you previous no videos. No stale bread no ever. No stale bread ever. Whew, my heart. <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Hashtag no stale bread ever. Hashtag no stale bread. So what did we get here, Janelle? See, these are oh. little donuts. All right, take a look at these guys. Warm, fluffy donuts. These you can get here at the Lamplight Lounge. So when you're done with your meal and you want a dessert, they got some nice warm donuts. And right here on the side, you have your raspberry sauce. And from what I hear, guys, they've got some pop in action. And then here, we got our fudge. Now, let's do this. Oh man, they're so warm. Okay, here we go. Oh, the day just gets better. These are sweet and they're fluffy, like they said, but they also have a little crisp to them. Oh. Raspberry sauce. Do I? Yeah. Thank you. All right. The service here is fantastic, by the way. That's a lot of fun. There's a lot of fizzing going out of my mouth. Raspberry sauce. I like the donuts by themselves, but I guess this is fun if you have kids. And it's very tasty, too. It's kind of like having like a, a raspberry, it's like a beignet. But No, no, you need to try these. Try the fudge. I know Janelle's gonna like that, so I'm not gonna waste it. But this. This is so much fun. Guys, you need to try this. Janelle, you need to try this. They're so cute and they're so fluffy. Here we go. Oh. I cut it in half so I can dip it in there. Try the raspberry. So good. Oh, what the? <laughs> Just like the nail. The hits just keep coming, Janelle. What? <laughs> You're too into that donut. So this is the open ocean with a splash. Looks kind of like the ocean. And it's got uh, rum and some blue curacao. Let's try this out. It's a very sweet drink. You don't really taste the alcohol. I know you don't like slushy drinks, so try it. I don't like slushy drinks. I know. What? So this here is called your Six Tentacles with Japanese whiskey, alchemist passion fruit, lime juice, and nectar. Oh, it smells citrusy, and I love citrus martinis. Here we go. Ooh. She's a bit strong, so. Ooh. It's so citrusy and delicious. What scares me is that, that I squeeze this lime. I can't taste the alcohol, so I think one's enough for me. <laughs> but so far, it's really uh, sweet and such a refreshing drink, so I recommend this for the ladies. The outfit? Wow. Do you want to be the 
volunteer to open the door. Yeah. So I want to turn the top knob two times to the right. The bottom knob one time to the left. And now I'll turn this four times. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to the people that were here? <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, that was fun, was huh? So cool. I know. You guys experienced this here. Oh my goodness, my heart's beating so fast. I'm so excited. <laughs> wow. Did you guys see that? That was awesome, right? I wish one day we could eat there. You never know. Maybe someday. Now inside, I don't know if you saw. They have pictures of some of the Pixar Disney animators. So, who's your favorite Pixar animator? Look, Janelle, the new Incredibles floats. Whoa! All right, guys, that was fun. That was amazing. So cool. I know. We just want to say we love you guys. You guys are the best. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and let us know in the comments below what you guys thought about the food here. Honestly, we were excited to show up and we were not disappointed. But we just want to say we love every single one of you guys and we'll see you guys here next time on the wonderful world of food. Bye.